Hi, I'm Chris, and welcome to my Pokemon Platinum version playthrough. Um, I've never used a ROM emulator before, so this will be interesting. I genuinely just spent about 40 minutes trying to like create the optimum controller configuration. It's the ultimate, so hopefully this will be fine. Yeah. So let's get started. Uh, hello there, it's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Is this Birch? Is it Birch or is it Rowan? My name is Rowan, yeah. I'm, I'm not very good at doing voices, but... Yeah, just go, However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before I go any... This is an awful Rowan voice. If, <laughs> if you need advice, I'm certainly capable of giving it. Uh, nah, I'll pass old man. No info needed. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. You don't have a Pokeball. Touch the button on the middle of the Pokeball. If, touch the button on the middle of the Pokeball, if you please. I pressed A. Is that? Do I actually need to? Do I need to actually click it? How, how, how did I do that? Is, do I need to actually bring my mouse in? Click it. Ah! <laughs> That's actually quite cool. The DS emulator. We're rocking it. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times. They beat each other up. We work together. Some Pokemon, some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? I will go ahead and do that. Uh, I am a boy. Shocking, All right? Yes. Tell me what is your name? I, it's kind of a tradition when I play Pokemon games to just have Chris, but since it's, since it's a recorded playthrough, I want to do something funny. I want to, like, dick sponge or something, but, uh, uh I don't know, I think I'll just go for Chris. Unless I can think of anything in the next few seconds, then it's going to be Chris. Yeah, we'll go for it. I want to try this again. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, yes. Okay, your name is Chris. Yes, my name is Chris. So you're Chris. A fine name that is. Now this boy here, I believe he's your friend. Isn't this, uh... I think he's called Dylan? No, Barry. Okay. I'm gonna give him a... Uh... Uh... Okay, this has to be something funny. It can't be anything like... Jack or Russell. Or Jackson. Um... Got it. Definitely. Dildo, is it? Yes. No doubt in my mind. For a shadow of a doubt. Alright, Chris, the time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now go on, leap into the world of Pokemon. Okay, so yeah. Oh, he's using his laser eyes to shrink me down to pixelated. Um, oh, oh yeah, this is the TV bit, yeah. Pokemon are by our side, always. I hope you will understand the meaning of those words. That was the comment left by Professor Rowan, who returned to Sinnoh from the Kanto region. That concludes our special program that's asked Prof Rowan. Brought to you by Jubilee TV on National Wide Net. See you next week, same time, same channel. Got it, bro. Okay. Oh, there's... <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> That's about the only laugh we're going to get from this. Uh, I missed that. Uh, Professor Rowan's that really important... Oh, okay. He's that really important guy who studies Pokemon, right? I thought that didn't make sense for a second. That means he must have lots and lots of Pokemon. So if we ask him, I bet he'd give us some Pokemon. I'll just come in and use my computer and check his email. Crack one off. All right, right. We're going to. Sorry. Ah. All right, right. We're going to go see Professor Ron and get some Pokemon. You brought it up. How'd you forget? I'm, I'll be waiting outside. Okay, Chris. If you're late, I'm finding you ten million pounds. Pounds or whatever that is. Yen. Oh no. Assuming this is in Japan, I imagine it is. Uh, okay. What are you saying? Mom. Chris. 
Devil Tom <laughs> Red Tail Left. <laughs> okay, that, that fucker. Just, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what it was about, but you sure in a hurry. Okay, just sit back down, okay. If there's one thing I'm not liking, it's that little, like, scarf. I uh, know it's not a, it might be a scarf, actually. It's just, I don't know. I think it is. Oh, yes, Chris. Don't go into the tall grass. Well, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we've been over this. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so... It's just <laughs> mocking me. <laughs> okay, so, where is it? I think I'm supposed to go to the lake, am I not? Ah, uh, yeah. Can I spring it? Oh, I can't. Is he's... Pr oh, I thought he was going to... He is going to block me off. Oh, what are you saying? Hiya, Chris. Dildo was looking for you. Uh, I think he's home now. Why don't we go check it out? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, that's where he was. Yeah. Is he in this one? Dildo's house. He's just been completely ostracized by this town. <laughs> it's just we're all calling him Dildo. Fud. And Fud, apparently. Dildo, what was that about? Oh, hey, Chris. Hey, I'm going to see Professor Rowan. You should come to him quickly. Oh jeez, forgot something. What a dick. Okay. This is mother saying dildo's <laughs> Oh hi Chris. Are you looking for dildo? <laughs> he was gone for a second, but then he came running right back home. He just can't sit still, that boy. I wonder why I wonder who he takes after. I can't remember what he's doing up here. Uh I'd better take my bag and journal too. Oh hey, Chris. I'll be waiting on the road, it's a ten million. 10 million yen or pokey dollars, whatever it is. Fine if you're late. But, you know, e even so, that seems like a bit of a hike. That seems a little bit. a little bit out of my financial reach. But. whatever. So, I have not been listening to a word he's saying. So, is he gonna stop? Okay, he's not gonna block me. Oh, okay, there he is. Too slow. <laughs> you're too slow! Uh, okay. You need to walk me there. What? Don't go into the grass, right? No worries. No problem. Doesn't matter that we don't have any Pokemon. Trust me on this one. I've got an idea. Now listen, you know how well Pokemon jump out when you go into tall grass? So what you do is you scoot over to the next patch of grass before any wild Pokemon can appear. If you just keep dashing, well, that's, well, that is an excellent plan. Excellent plan. Here goes on your mark. What way are we going? Are we... Is this... Oh, yeah. Rowan. Uh, the Rowan machine. <laughs> you don't have any Pokemon between you. Then what is the meaning of going into the tall grass? Dildo. The Dildo is silent. Professor. <laughs> hey, Chris, this old guy. <laughs> this old schmuck. It's Professor Rowan, isn't it? What's he doing here? He's gonna go into a dramatic monologue. He tried to go into the tall grass, but oh no, he's he's not. Oh, he's talking about us. I thought they were. He's going to start talking about Team Plasma or whatever it is in this one, isn't it? Galactic? I don't really know. Their world would surely change if they were to meet Pokemon. Is it right for me to put them on that path? Hmm. You two, you truly love Pokemon, do you? You truly love Pokemon, do you? I was going to say, don't you? Me too. I love Pokemon too. I will ask you once again. You two, you truly love Pokemon, do you? I can ask a hundred times, the answer will never change. We both answer a hundred times, we love Pokemon. Right, Chris? <laughs> I'm not with him. Um, yeah. A pair of reckless kids who foolishly try to enter tall grass without Pokemon of their own. It worries me that people like that would do with Poke- What people would do like that with Pokemon? Dildo, uh, well, I, uh, hmm. Well, then forgive, forget about me, but give a Pokemon to my friend here. It was me who tried to go into the tall grass and all. Exclamation point! How big of you? Very well then, I will entrust you two with Pokemon. I apologise for putting you through that exercise. It's almost ten minutes already, wow. However, you must promise me that you will never recklessly endanger yourselves again. Now then, hmm, now where? Ah, uh, here's Don. Don. Professor Rowan. I actually thought they were... Uh, or whatever I've called him, Dildo and Don. <laughs> Dildo and Don were his grandchildren or something. I don't know. You left a briefcase at the lake. Oh, and it just appears. Oh, something wrong here? Rowan, ah, nice. There it is. Done. Nice work. What I was about to do was entrust these two with their own Pokemon. <gasps> Pardon? This could be Don's voice. 
Those Pokemon are hard to replace. Are you sure about giving them away? Hmm. I'm, I'm not very good at voices, so they've all got the same voice, unfortunately. They've all got the same, you know, warpy Scottish voice. We exist side by side with Pokemon. There comes a time when people should meet Pokemon. There is a world that should be explored together. For them, today is that time, this place, right here. Go on, open the briefcase and choose a Pokemon. Dildo, really? Professor Rowan? I can't believe I'm so happy now that I can't keep a straight face. Hey, Chris, you can choose first. Hey, I'm practically a grown up. I have to show some class here. By, you know, getting an unfair advantage. What's up? I, I thought. I, oh, I, I, I was gonna go around that side. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Now, these are Pokeballs. There's a Pokemon in each one. Now, choose which Pokemon will it be? Well, I am a. Fuck, no. <laughs> <laughs> I am a huge fan of Infernape. Infernape is my favourite final evolution, start of final evolution, sorry. And I also love Empoleon. Like, fun fact, I also think that that Gen... this is Gen 4, isn't it? Gen 4 has the best stars. Without doubt. Uh, I think I'm going to go for Chimchar. Just give you a look at Piplup. Penguin Pokemon Piplup. Chimp Pokemon Chimchar. Tiny Leaf. The tiny leaf. So he'll he'll pick Piplup. So I'm just gonna go with Chimchar. Let's do it. Good old times. Then I choose you. I'm picking this Piplup. Very well. Both of you have chosen a good. Po I thought I said a god Pokemon. You've both chosen a god Pokemon. It seems. Now listen well. The Pokemon you have been entrusted with are familiar with the world. In that regard, they're much like you. As fellow newcomers to this world, I hope you'll do well together. If you have any trouble, come see me at my lab in Sand Gem Town. And now we'll be on our way. Kalukali. Oh, she's a bit she's a bit dopey. She's a bit um I I'll just trip her up as she passes. Dildo, how do you like that? <laughs> Dead ass <laughs> Professor Owen's really nice. On TV he seems so stern and scary and spooky. Are you gonna want a battle now? Am I not even allowed to name my Pokemon? Okay. Am I? I didn't even get to name it. Did I not? Did I accidentally skip that out? Did I say this? The time has finally come. I challenge you to a battle. I'll probably get it later. I mean, I think if I go to Sand Gym Town, I'll get the option to name it. It'll say that I've grown Pokemon Trainer Dildo. Like, I've um, like I've grown so attached to it. I actually thought that was like shiny Gym Jar. Okay, so I'm just gonna leer this down. So he's not got any elemental moves, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna spam some leers. I'm just gonna get some lasers. Oh he's oh that's a bit counter a bit counterproductive, thanks for that. Um yeah, so I guess the reason I chose platinum was because I like Peril was kinda my like return to the franchise. And uh I I played the living fuck out of Peril. And uh, we'll see how much this does. This will, his crills are probably counter, yeah, countering it. And now I'm behind. God damn! I'm just gonna spam a few scratches. Um, yeah. So Peril's kind of my return to the franchise, and since then I've become a huge fan of the game <laughs> and its countless mechanics. Um, yeah, it's and Platinum's always been really like. I haven't really seen much from it. I mean, I remember watching like Maryland's. Um, no way, we can keep going. This is where we hit our stride. Um, his like a, a bit of his playthrough. I've watched a bit of the Distortion World. And I just thought that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. There's waterfalls that go upside down, or whatever. Um, yeah, it's just yeah, and I've. Mm, it's just I've always wanted to play Platinum, but. I, I, I always find it hard to go back again. Like this is really, this is really weird for me right now because I just last week completed the national decks on Pokemon Y, which I'm pretty proud of. Um, oh, okay, one more. Yeah, and it's really weird going back to this. It's, it's a little bit different from Peril, but I'm really, I'm really curious to see the nature of this I'm sure. And it's IVs. It's IVs. So I'm good. Yeah, level six. Yeah. I think I get, I think I ember about level 6, I'm not really sure, oh, it's like 1.5. Pokemon Shinra Dildo. 
What you say? We ended up losing. Damn right you did. Phew, let's go home. I'm beat after that battle. See you, Chris. See you, Dild. Oh, oh. Was that? Was that? Table always there. Okay. What's the matter, dear? Wow, that's what happened to you? You and Dild were lucky to have met, Professor Rowan. Imagine if you didn't. I wouldn't like to think what the wild Pokemon might have done to you too. Chris, go see Professor Rowan and thank him properly for your Pokemon. Yeah, I'll probably get to name a Pokemon then. Uh, I st I'm trying to think of a name, but I can't. Okay. Oh, I know. Chris, put the running shoes! RUNNING SHOES! <laughs> Going to San Jim Town is like an adventure in itself, right? With those running shoes. Let me read the instructions of shoes. <laughs> Press the B button and dash about faster than you ever have before. Put on the rain shoes and blow. Oh, just I'm, mm, twitchy finger. Yeah. I'm, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Running, running. Okay. Oh, you fucking eyes again. Too slow. <laughs> I'm sick of waiting. Got to go fast, Chris. So I had this great idea. Listen up, okay? You know that lake where we always play at? You know how they say a legendary Pokemon lives there? You guessed it, let's catch that Pokemon. Let's make Professor Rowan happy, I'm sure of that. Me and you together, we've got nothing to fear apart from a level 50 Mesperate. Or 40, I'm not really sure. Very, yeah, I was thinking it was like the lake of. I don't know. Trust me on this one. Do you even have any fucking Pokemons? Dummy. What's going on? Oh, is it. T oh. The flowing time. The expanding space. I will make it all mine one day. Cyrus in my name, remember it. Until then, sleep while you can. Legendary Pokemon of the Lake Bed. It's this guy's voice. Allow me to pass. Step aside. He's got a very breathy voice. It's like. Uh, it feels like I'm doing a Kyber impression, like a really, really bad Kyber impression. What was that about, weird guy? It's like he's calling me weird guy. What's that about, weird guy? Okay, Chris, let's catch that legendary Pokemon. Kawoon! Kawoon! <laughs> scared. Exclamation point! Did you hear that, Chris? That was the legendary Pokemon crying. It had to be it. Okay, this is our chance. Let's catch it. Wait, what? We don't have anything on us. You know, Pokeballs? P O K accent E balls? <laughs> If we don't have those, we can't catch Pokemon or take them around with us. Do you think Professor Rowan would give us some if we asked him? <laughs> Run your breath. You know you remember what he said, don't you? He said to visit him at his lab if we needed anything. Okay, Chris, I'll race you. First one to the professor's lab in San Gem Town rules! <laughs> it's like, the last one there has to eat a deal. I just said dildo. It's just, I, I can't get dildo. <laughs> it's such a beautiful name. It's like the last one that has to eat a penny. <laughs> um, I can't remember what it is. I think it's up here. I'll slash some. Oh, wait. Oh, hold on. Make a quick check. A chimmy. Careful. Oh, careful's a good one. He could have, like, max. So, somewhat vain that is, like, maximum special defense IVs. Like, a possible. A possibly. So, he could have, like,. Max special defense. Well, I, w I won't be EV training. This isn't going to be an EV training run. But, you know. Uh, I haven't got options yet. Yeah. It's almost 20 minutes. I'm going to turn it off at 20 minutes. Fast. And then. Set. Yeah. So, you know, we're going to make this a, a total mega run. Yep. Cool. Uh, okay. So. Okay. Just keep going. Oh, okay. Oh. I'll keep going until Dawn shuts her face. Oh, there you are. Please come with me. The professor is waiting. Oh, God. It's going to be a cutscene. Oh. I'm going to just keep going until 25, I think. This is it. A Pokemon research lab. Let's go. Oh, this fucking guy. Fud. Dildo, what the? Oh, it's you, Chris. That old guy, he's not He's not scary so much as he is totally out there. Oh, it doesn't matter, Chris. I'm out of here. See you later. Nice. What was that? Your friend sure seems to be really impatient. He sure seems to run a lot. Let's go inside. I, I want to save. <laughs> I want to wrap this up. I better be... Uh, okay. Well, well. 
<laughs> look, <laughs> look, <laughs> look what the cat dragged in. Chris, was it? Let's have a look at your Pokemon. Bitchin' ass gym jar. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Hmm, entrusting you with that gym jar was no mistake, it seems. Well, would you like to give it a nickname? Yes. Uh. Hmm. Not really. Uh. I'm trying to think. Monkey names, monkey business. Uh. Fire monkey. I think I have it. I think I have a pretty good idea. I'm not sure if I have enough space. I better. Otherwise, I'm gonna cry right now. Oh, we can't have. Oh, we can't have. We can't have Furious George. We cannot have Furious George. So, I am fresh out of ideas. Um. Okay, what's what's a monkey? I'll call it. Aye, aye. I've got I've got Super Monkey Ball to my left. Um, okay, a, fl a monkey. I'm having a really hard time coming up with a name for this. Uh, this is the game right here. Um, call it like Turtwig or something. Uh, monkey, 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 monkey. Ah, uh, I I know no monkeys. Uh. I've got um I've got a book called Ricky Rickita and this giant robot monkey, I think. Uh what should I call it? <laughs> Come on. Um I'm thinking fire stuff, like Avatar, call it Zuko or something. Mako. But I wanna give it a funny name. Mmm Call it Chris. Monk. Uh this is wow. Um, I can't think of a name for this. I'll just call it George. I'll just call it George. Since Furious George isn't gonna work. Uh, yeah, I'll just call it George. Let's go for that. Let's call it George. Yeah, because Fur Furious George, you should get that. Come on. Hmm. Okay. I see. You happy with that nickname? Are we happy with that nickname? Resounding yes. When I first saw you two about to step into the tall grass without Pokemon, I was shocked. I was astounded by those foolhardy children. But now you've astounded me in an entirely different way. You have a level 6 Chimchar. Already there is a bond growing between you and that Pokemon. I feel privileged, privileged to have met you. I'm sure Chimchar feels the same thing about you. That's why I ask you to cherish that Chimchar of yours. By giving it a deprecating name. Not really deprecating. I'm so glad that you're so kind towards Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to. Oh, I can't see it. <laughs> I would shove my hand up your. Ahem. <clears throat> Let's move on to the main topic. The main topic? There's something I want you to do for me. Allow me to properly introduce myself first. My name, as you know, is Rowan, the Rowan Machine. <laughs> I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it's necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. It's what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record data and all the Pokemon sound of them? No. I can stand here for speaking for hours. I'm a very patient man. Let me ask you again, Chris. Pokedex, please. Yes. Hmm, good answer. Got there Got there in the end, fag. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Chris, I ask you... Uh, ah. Chris, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I've got one too. When you walked up 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I've lived for six. I thought no one was saying this. I've lived for 60 long years. <laughs> um, even now, I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now, you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means that there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now, go! Chris, your grand adventure begins right now. That Pokemon that I met for the first time was a Turtwig. If you would have chosen a church on Route 201, we'd have the same Pokemon now. Not that it matters. Anyway, I'm done. <laughs> I'm going to help the professor add pages to the Pokedex. So, in a... Oh, fuck. I've got a little head start on you. Oh, 